Hey, this is Linus and Dana, hitching up and moving on, and we are going to go into Boulder Recreation Area and kind of show you the sights in there. Boulder is a COE park on Carlisle Lake, and it is on a peninsula. I swear there is not a site that doesn't have a lake view. Yeah, a very, very nice place. It, stays here many times. Right. It does get windy. And if you're on one of the lake sites, on the waterfront sites, uh, it can get kind of windy. But it's really, it's got great sunsets. And it's not a huge park, so it's easy to walk around. <coughs> yeah. They have a boat ramp. And it's a nice park. Do a lot of fishing at this end of the lake during the fall by the train trestle. So, but we'll come here and stay during that. And we'll drive back here real quick. I think they have a little picnic area back in here that's off the lake too, I believe. I could be wrong. I thought this was a little so. picnic area right here. here. Is yeah, it's, it's, yeah, there's a little picnic table through here. Oh, over oh here yeah, back, I yeah. guess. Yeah, okay. I see. And you're on the back side of that dam here. No, you're not. No. I fished right in front of this because I knew it was here. But it's right straight in front of us right here. There's some picnic tables back in there. You can picnic here and, and walk out and fish off the bank. It might be a pretty good drop, but you can still do it. A lot of people do that. Uh, the lake is almost all rip-wrapped around. And uh, some people stand out on the rocks and nope. fish. And the white bass here are um, usually pretty plentiful. Right now they've been kind of slow. Um, and people love to come here and catch white bass. The water is really warm right now. And it's turned into a heck of a crappie lake. But like all the other bathrooms that we show you in our other videos, they are just plain bathrooms right here to the right. Um, Kept always kept really clean. It's like somebody caught some fish. Somebody's up there, but catfish are hitting big time right now. And there is another pavilion. You might have to get the other camera out and get over There is another. And that's one of the bathhouses there. Yeah, so we're at the... Not bathhouse, but restrooms. We're at the uh, parking lot for the boat ramp, and there's a restroom there. I cannot say enough wonderful things about the cleaning crews <clears throat> at the COE parks on Carlisle. Yeah. They just do an awesome job. There's picnic shelter and a little play area. And you do not want to put a boat in here without either a pass that's paid for or a camping tag hanging from your camp, from your campsite, because you will get a ticket. But, um, and the water is a bit rough. It's a little windy, yeah. and that's what Carlisle is known for, I hate to yes, say. Yes, it is. It is not a deep, deep lake, and wind really gets it going. I swear at times I think you can walk across it. <clears throat> but, so we're gonna take you through the campground here, try to show you some sites here that might benefit you and let you know what we think of it and yeah. see what you think of it. And there are some people cleaning some fish. Yeah, somebody caught something. Good for them. Apparently a bunch. They got enough buckets, so yeah. I'm not sure what they caught. If they're catching white bass, white bass are on. There is no limit size or anything here. You can catch a hundred of them, a thousand of them if you want. At one time, they used to be so heavily that the fish cleaning stations would get overrun by the people cleaning them because they're just so they just so many people would keep real small ones. And so, but anyhow, we're gonna go through here. I'm gonna see if they got a. Um, it looks like somebody's working. There's a car up here. And so on the left is the is a sailboat marina. Yeah. And. If you're in the full hookup loop, then you have a view of that. I want to my pass up here. Ooh. 
I'm good. How you been doing? We're just going to drive through and do a video real quick. And um, do you have a, a map? Do you have one for Cold Creek? Yeah. We're staying at Cold Creek. I forgot to get one from them. Oh. Yeah. Love this place. And well, let me know if you got any questions. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. It's a shame they're closing the group loops over there. Huh? It's a shame they're closing the group loops over there. Yeah, but at least you're supposed to say we're closing this one the 29th. Yeah. September. Yes. 29th, yeah, 29th of September. Right. But then Cole's will stay open two extra weeks. Right. So that's what I heard. That's what she told me. And then, but we always have a get family get-together on one of the group loops every year, and it's hard to book that many sites and get them in one spot you know right, yeah. so uh -huh. i know that lotus was it lotus loop yeah lotus is it's going to be yeah but it's it's only five sites in there you need right, yeah. yeah now they said they're going to expand that but i'm hoping that's right but thank you thanks she was the um booth lady <laughs> one of the campground hosts yeah one of the hosts so anyhow, we're gonna go right to and do the um, full hookups right off the bat. Yep. So this first loop over to the left is the full hookup side, um, full hookup loop. It's small. And you may just have to camera from both sides because yeah, there's not fine. very many. Okay. So you have site one that is accessible site. And that's got the path going back to the bathroom. Right. They're a little hilly, but. I would, the best site in here is that full drive through. Site two. Site, uh, let's see. Let me come around. I'll go, I'll go this way, Ben's are kind of turn okay. that way. Yeah. Okay, site three. We've been on that site before. Yeah. Site four. Site five, and you can see what I meant. Um, you get to see the sailboat harbor there. Some extra parking. Site six. Site, Site seven. seven. It's got a really nice view of the sailboat harbor. Yeah. And then we're going to actually drive through right. the handicap site. I mean, uh, um, drive through site. So, yeah, site eight is uh, a pull, pull through. through. Pull through. Oh. What'd you do? Mm. It won't take long to go through this campground. It is not a huge campground. No, it's not. So I'm getting a lot of dashboard. Yeah, no, dashboard. Oh. Whoop. Okay. Okay, and there's the potable water. So that's where you fill your rig up. Yep, your fresh water tank. And a lot of people like this site right here because <laughs> it's right on the water and you can fish from right right in here. Yeah. Even though it doesn't have a lot of shade. <clears throat> so this is site nine. It goes downhill, but it flattens out down there. And especially for a small camper, that'd be great if you just want to fish from the bank. And site 10 is a little off level. Site but 10. you get the view of the lake. Now this was all black topped last year in 23. And so everything has been blacktopped. It was all gravel before and it would get kind of muddy. So it's really nice. Here's site 11. Now these are the sites that ride along the open lake. And when it gets windy here, hoo hoo, batten down the hatches. Yeah. There's site That's 12. That's a major storm come through here. <clears throat> and site 13. Got a nice view of the lake. Site 14. And you guys would please like and subscribe and leave a comment. Site 16. Site 17 is a pull through site. I think he was down there by us. Mm -hmm. 
I think he was in Coles Creek. Yeah. And he moved down here. Sharp looking camper. I remember seeing that camper in there. Yeah, that's sharp looking. Yeah, I think it is. There's some extra parking. And a walkway down to the water. Yep, there's a walkway down. Site 20. Wow. Great view. Site 21. Has a little extra parking with it. It's nice and wide. A lot of sun. Yeah, I can Site 22. Again, they, they may not be the longest sites, but boy, they made them nice and wide. And they made this one huge. Here's Site 23, and it is a buddy site. That was said? Well, there's only one number there, and it has two sites with it. I assume it is a buddy site. Well, you see a power pole, though. I don't know. 27? We may have to go back around to catch the other ones. Yep, 28. More extra parking. Site 31. That's a big wide site yep. on the water. Site 32. Nice shade there. So you do get shade there. <clears throat> Here's site 33, right out on the point. Mm -hmm. I know see there was storm damage here. Shut off. They got battery? Yep, yeah. 92%. Huh, put that in front of that vent, turn well, that vent on. Well, I can't. No, I mean, turn that vent on higher and uh, okay. point it at it. All right, uh, let's see, we have site 34 here. Site 35, if you've got a little camper and you don't worry about wind, that would be a great one right there. And this end right here is beautiful sunsets. Yes. You get a beautiful sunset right here. Yep, and there's, I don't know, if, I don't think this is parking. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's just extra, extra is parking. It? Okay. Yeah. All right, and then we have site, site 36. This is a buddy which side. Is a buddy side. The front side and the back side. Yeah, so you can either back in here or you back all the way around there. It's kind of an oddly shaped one, I think. About three or four buddy sites in mm -hmm. here. Here's site 37. Short but wide. And site 38, nice long site. And these back up to the cove that goes back to the uh, sailboat harbor. There's 39. And 40. Oh, what happened here? Did that one go dead on me? Oh, I hate my camera. I don't know. Maybe that one got hot too. Maybe. Okay, we're gonna finish the outside loops. I don't know. I'm wondering what's going on here. Half my cameras ain't working. Huh. It's just too hot. It's 95 degrees a day. So we're having a hard time doing the getting the GoPros to say lit and going. I didn't realize we missed some of this. But we're gonna run back through here again anyhow. Yeah. Okay. Here's site 41. Nice long site, but it's in the full sun. Yeah, all these they, are. Right. Uh, the COE um, replanted trees. There's 43. Yeah, you can see all the new trees and back in the background. And there's 44. So they did a big tree cleanup here on Carlisle Lake uh, a couple years ago and uh, took out a lot of unhealthy trees. There's 46. And you can see the cove back there, 47. Forty-eight, fifty, and 
51. There's 52, a little shorter sight. There's 53. That one's got some shade to it. <coughs> 54. Site 56. And Site 57. Site 59, and it's directly behind the shower house, and now, there is a laundry. Now we're going to go left again so you can get the inner ones over here, or I can get the inner ones over here real quick, and then we'll come back okay. out of here. Okay. Because otherwise we just have to go back to a whole bunch okay. of... Oh, let's see. It all all right. And we're just making that same loop that we just made to Site 24 right here on my left. Nice big white site. And some shade on this next side, and it's 25. Downhill a little bit in the front, 26. Same way, pretty much same setup on the same side. Um, these are all just electric sites, so got a little extra parking right here. I think everybody's favorite buddy side up here is coming up. Um, but this yeah, is 29. 29. Yep, with the boat and the camper and the truck. We've been on yeah. that site a couple times. Yep. And this camp spot right here is a buddy site. And it's 30. And it is one of the favorite sites because you get the lake view for two campers. But you do not get the discount if you have your COE card like you would if you would be doing one single site. But, um... So there's the entry for the other site, for the other part of the buddy site. Yeah, there's no sites back in there on the inside. No, we took care of those. So we're going to hit these. And this is site 42. And it's a little hilly downhill. You might want to put a small camper on that one. And then this next one is really hilly also. And it is 45. And it really goes downhill in the front. But you put your back end over the, the concrete block back there, and that's the bath, I mean, uh, just the restroom. Restroom. Yeah. And they have their amphitheater back there in the background, and they do have weekly programs. Now, this side here is really nice, because I go back in there, and you get the shade, and you still get a little bit of a lake view, so it's 49. And I think we're coming to the last one in this loop on the inside. These are all inside loop lights. Um, sites inside loop sites yeah 55 <laughs> and that's a nice site it's got a lot of shade but I was wrong about it. there's one more behind that and this would be 58 yeah. our kids have been on that one before so um, you guys leave a comment on this we're still working on a way of so a little bit more of the campground to do but leave a comment and hit please hit the subscribe button we need more subscribers and let us comment back to you so we can tell you what we're doing. Um, I guess we'll do the same thing here. We'll go around this okay. loop and then come back around it twice. All right, so then there's this other little circular loop. Yeah, this one's not a big one either. No. Put my window back down. Put my window back up. Let's see. And here we have site 62. Nice long site and get some shade. I think that guy's been there before. I remember that boat. Six, yeah, site 63. Backs up on the cove. Site 64. Really long site. Site 65 is also really long and flat. Site 66 goes uphill a bit, but I don't think you'd have any trouble leveling there. As you can tell they got some opening. That's a pretty sight right there with the sailboat yeah, harbor. Yeah, Site 68. You have a view of the sailboat harbor. And you get to listen to them play music all night because <laughs> they play music off the sails. Site 70. Site 72 goes way back in there. And this is Boulder Campground, COE Park. 
Sorry, 74. <clears throat> Site 76. Now these have a view of the cove that comes back behind. Well, and you can also bring your boat in here and dock it behind your camper. That's what my brother likes about these two here. You can leave his boat on the water and not have to take it out. Site 79. Site 80. Site 81. Ooh, it really goes downhill back there. And then Site 82. I'll go back to here. And hit these other ones over here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hiya. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy what we're showing you so far. We're trying to give you an idea of what the site looks like when you book them online. You know, so you know what you're coming into. So we are going to go back to the inside loop now, and that is site 15. Yeah, it's a nice level site at top, a little bit hilly coming in. It looks like they get a couple two or three tenths on that one. Um, <laughs> site 18, full sun. Winter time, great time, great. This one with the um, image on it is site 19. Got some shade. Not a ton. Once these trees all grow that they're putting in, these would be a lot more shaded. Um, site 60 goes downhill, but it's a huge site. Some shade, some sun. Close Consider to the play is, area. This is 1.30 in the afternoon, so this is what you'd look at for the time frame. Yeah, and close to the playground back there. 61. You got some tree, you got a lot of shade back there if you're going to be sitting out. It's pretty unlevel. Yeah, it's off level. You'll have to block that a little bit. all my cameras are going mm -hmm. because two of them kicked off a while ago and I guess they got too hot. Uh, it's really hot out. So site 67, nice white site. Site 68, it's got, you know, 69. Nice, or 69's got a nice little picnic area back in there too. You know, not picnic, but a table and stuff. That one's a really deep site there. 71's a really awesome site. If you want shade and you want a big spot, you got it. 73 is the same way. It's a nice big site with a playground behind it. We have kids. This one goes downhill a lot in the front. 75. But you can still level. If you could set it so deep site you can level. And 77, it comes down some in the front. I want to say about four inches, maybe five. And um, then that's all the little, sides. You have a little bit of excess parking. And then you have the um, the restroom here. Is that a shower house too on these? Or no, not? we already went by the shower house. Okay. That's what impresses me about this campground is there are three bathrooms as well as a shower house that has bathrooms and a, a washing a laundry area. And we so I, I, they have plenty of restrooms. Then plus the one out at the parking lot. So. Right. So that's Boulder Campground. Yeah, Boulder Campground, and it's a very nice campground. It's hard to get in on the full hookup loops. Very hard to get in. Yeah, there are but, only, um, what, eight sites yeah, there. Yeah, so. I wish they'd put in more. I wish they'd put in more on a lot of these campers, but a lot of people like just, you know, go in two, three days, they don't worry about their water and sewer. My favorite thing about that is, is... Um, There's oh, the other, there. one more restroom back there. Yeah is when you leave, you don't have to stop the dump station to leave. It's your, you can just leave. So, but, but. So yeah. as we head back out, go by the marina again, they've got a little um, store in there, a little camp store. Yeah, we'll drive through the marina real fast. You can drive through the marina. Okay. And you could leave your boat at the marina and pay a fee. We're not sure what the fee is, but I know you can leave your boat at the marina. We've came up here and used our restrooms when we're on the lake a few times. Um, I'm gonna go down here, I think. 
And I guess this is um, where they put in uh, some of the boats right here. Not for the campground. No. You cannot put in for the campground here. This is just um, for put in the the um, private. That's private docks for people that's paying. Right. So uh, I'm sure that's you get in some trouble. <laughs> Unless you want to buy a yacht or something, I can't. There's some good crappie spots back here. I cannot see here. behind me. I don't yeah. want to back into something. There's okay. some good crappie spots back here. Yeah, this is one of the <laughs> favorite places on the lake to fish for crappie is back here. Not around the docks, but actually on the edge of this area. It's very good places to fish for crappie. And the white bass when they're hidden. And so that's where the little shop is. They must have some sort of food there, too. I don't know how many marinas there is around this whole lake. But I'm sorry. I don't know. But I know there are at least three. Some sailboats needed some TLC. Some of them been sitting here for so long, they just look like they're made to live there now. And then on your way out is the dump station. Yeah. yeah, I didn't drive. And they do there. not have drinkable water there, so that's why they have no, the ones. Well, right I think that says not drinkable. I think. No, I think that's hooked up. Okay. But. So. What does she know? Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. As you can tell, we enjoy that one work. Yep. Um, we like Carlisle Lake. It's only within, that's within about two hours from our house up in central Illinois. And it's an easy one, an easy lake to get to. So we have three different campgrounds here that we like to stay at. Um, Boulder and Coles Creek being two of them. Yes. So thanks for joining us. Yeah. Again, this is Linus and Dana. We're with up and moving along. And remember, the best is yet to see. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let us know if you've been here. And if so, if you want to come here, we may. If you have another question about this campground, let us know. Maybe we can figure it out for you. So, thanks a lot. should be